Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and right now I'm going to tell you about 5G resource blocks. We will talk about common resource blocks, physical resource blocks and virtual resource blocks. So why there are so many different definitions of resource blocks in 5G and NAR? Let's find out. As you may know, in LTE, in 4G, resource block defines in uh, frequency domain as uh, 12 subcarrier spacing and also defines in time domain as 6 or 7 OFDM symbols. In 5G and R we, use, we can use multiple subcarrier spacing and uh, resource allocation can be based on OFDM symbols for example using mini slots yes in order to improve uh, scheduling in order to improve latency. So for that reason, in 5G and R, a resource block defines only in frequency domain. And uh, in addition to that, uh, as we use uh, many different subcarrier spacings, 3GPP defines common resource block, uh, physical resource block and virtual resource blocks. So let's look at my example. As you can see, this is the whole cell bandwidth. Common resource blocks used for numbering real resource blocks for the whole cell bandwidth. As you can see uh, from the uh, first resource block is common resource block zero. Yes, it starts and number all the resource blocks. Yeah, this is common resource block. M, let's say this is numbering all resource blocks here. It starts from reference point A. Reference point A is a kind of a reference uh, to know and understand for the system where each bandwidth part starts. Yes, it starts from common resource block zero or bandwidth part starts from common resource block and let's say yes of course here the offset and uh, this offset can be sent via sib1 uh, block in case of standalone mode or can be calculated from um, rfcn uh, if we uh, work in non-standalone mode. So this offset is used to understand where there is the start of um, bandwidth parts. Yes, because bandwidth parts may be with different numerologies, with different subcarrier spacings, and the system should know and understand how to uh, allocate resources in frequency domain. So uh, reference point A and common resource blocks is used for that. When it comes to physical resource blocks, yes, physical resource block used only within uh, bandwidth parts because bandwidth parts usually is um, user equipment specific thing, yes. So uh, as you can see from my example, resource block zero starts from here, yes, because this is zero and here because uh, this is another bandwidth part but resource block zero can have um, association with common resource block 55 let's say yes or another number uh, so okay let's talk about virtual resource blocks virtual resource blocks they also defined within bandwidth part uh, so, as you can see from my example, this is bandwidth part. Here, resource blocks, or in this case, we can name it as virtual resource blocks. Uh, and they start from zero to a particular number. So, uh, in dowling direction, we can use interleaving, or uh, the system can work without interleaving, to uh, group this virtual resource blocks into physical resource blocks. For example, 
we can um, take these two blocks and move it in this direction yeah this is frequency domain this is frequency allocation um, these two resource blocks virtual resource blocks in our case we can move to here and they will be allocated here in frequency or uh, it can be four yes uh, four resource blocks can be moved to another position in frequency this is interleaving interleaving can be used for downlink uh, but for uplink the system works without interleaving actually that topic is more about a resource allocation resource allocation type one type zero and i will make some more videos about resource allocation in 5g so if you like this video you can like and subscribe to my channel goodbye